America's Constitution Coach, Victory News contributor Rick Green. Rick, welcome today. I want to get your take on overturning of Roe, but first listen to the comments from Clarence Thomas and from Mayor Lori Lightfoot of Chicago. You could be in a thunderstorm. North is still north. People can yell at you. North is still north. It doesn't change fundamental things. And in this business, right is still right, even if you stand by yourself. He thinks that we are going to stand idly by when they take our rights, our right to marry, our right to have children. All right, two questions. Did Justice Thomas and the majority uphold the Constitution? And why is Lori Lightfoot, first of all, angry and saying people cannot get married or have children because of this decision? Uh, Greg, first of all, yes, the Supreme Court has upheld the Constitution better in the last week than in my entire life. It's been absolutely phenomenal, in fact, these decisions, both the Kennedy decision today on freedom of religion uh, and the extra free exercise thereof, as well as the two decisions last week, uh, both upholding federalism and letting the states decide on abortion and, of course, enforcing a constitutional right to keep and bear arms. You notice the governor of New York said you have we're not preventing anybody from having a gun. We're just going to prevent anybody from being able to take that gun where they can actually defend themselves. All of these decisions are upholding the Constitution. I have not seen this level of a restoration of the Constitution in my lifetime. I am so excited to see a court that actually upholds the Constitution and federalism. I have no idea what the mayor of Chicago is talking about. I thought that was a clip from Beetlejuice. I wasn't sure exactly what was going on there. Uh, but, but the idea that somehow the court is saying you can't have children or that you can't get married, uh, unbelievable the extremism that these folks will go to in their rhetoric. Well, that explains the smoke. I was wondering. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez shared one idea the Democrats are considering, and that's to reject the Supreme Court decision against Roe. Listen to her. Some ideas coming from Senator Warren signed a letter along with 25 other uh, Democratic senators asking President Biden to explore uh, opening health care clinics on federal lands in red states. Is this a possible way for abortion extremists to reject state decisions on how to regulate abortion? Well, they may try. It's just almost humorous to hear these same people that have praised the court over the last 50 years as the court created this leftist agenda in America and tried to remake America into literally a socialist state. Uh, now, all of a sudden, they don't like the court because the court has returned to constitutional decisions. And Greg, I got to tell you, man, when you read Alito and Thomas, especially in last week's decisions, it is phenomenal. The history that they give and the restoration of constitutional principles. But AOC and the left, they're going to hate this. They're going to look for ways to now reject the very court that they have enjoyed having make law for them when the court is now saying we choose not to make law. We choose to let the Constitution be the law and let the states decide. Well, uh, but they but they loved having the court decide for us instead of letting the people and decide. They quote, they quote, time for the people decide. They quote precedent all the time. But here in Missouri, Missouri passed a law in 1825 to 1973, 148 years of no abortion. So if you want to talk precedent, there's precedent, Rick. Okay, Rick, the city of Seattle launched their pride parade with the Boy Scouts of America at the forefront and only got worse from there as a group of nude cyclists rode around in front of families in downtown Seattle. So the moral decay that we see the left among uh, adults and their children and their innocence, Rick, what's going on on the West Coast? Man, every pastor in the state of Washington and in Oregon ought to be standing up against this and speaking against it. Pastors that did not celebrate the overturning of Roe v. Wade yesterday at church and are not going to speak out against this nonsense next week on Sunday morning. If your pastor is not doing those things, folks, you need to find another church. I mean, this is so obvious, the evil that is marching across our nation. And this evil will not be stopped by a mamsy pamsy, let's be nice Christianity. This evil will only be stopped by a Christianity that is willing to turn over some tables and fashion a whip and be like Jesus. There you go. President Biden made a surprising announcement at the G7 meeting he's attending. Listen to this announcement. That's why the United States, together with the G7 partners and the World Bank, are investing in a new industrial scale vaccine manufacturing facility in Senegal. OK, Rick, it's not a lab, but. Is Senegal the best place for an international vaccine lab to be located? I'm not sure there is a good place for an international vaccine lab at this point when we've proven that the COVID vaccine hasn't helped. It's actually hurt. 
You look at the European nations that have 68% vaccination rates and the African nations that have 19% vaccination rates, and the death rate per million in the European nations is way higher than the African nations. But this president ignores the data, ignores the actual science, and continues to use political science because they know they're looking for the next big scare where they can create more tyranny over a health care scare. That's exactly right. I'm, I'm, I'm concerned that you're right on that. I wish you weren't, but I think you are. Rick, we'll be back in a moment. 